Hi, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name is Nemo, and I like to do hair stuff. So today is super exciting. I was actually planning on keeping this purple and silver hair for a while, but change of plans, I found a new brand at Sally's. It is their new in-house brand, and it is called Strawberry Leopard. So when I went to my Sally's, I didn't know if they were gonna have it. Supposedly, it's not supposed to be rolled all the way out until October 1st, and they should be available in all Sally's at that point. I'm gonna just get straight into it because that's what you're here for, right? I bought four shades when I was there. Mint to be, pastel green, made you blush, pastel pink, lilac glow, pastel purple. This is loyal blue. This might actually be darker than I think. I may need to dilute this one with conditioner. We'll see, I will swatch all these colors and show you what they look like before I do anything else with them. So let me just get into opening these and I'm so excited to let you guys know what I think about this. I'm gonna do a pastel look today. One thing I will note too, they did not have any yellow shades at all. They had some orange shades, but they were darker. What does that smell like? It smells good. Let me get all these open. I'm also going to let y'all know these were $14 for 8 ounce tubes. Very reasonably priced. That was definitely a bonus when I was looking at these. I was happy with the price point. So hopefully they perform well. So this can be a new go-to brand. I would love to pay less money. I think we all would. It reminds me of something, but I just, I can't put my finger on it. I'm gonna go ahead and squirt these into their bowls and I'll go ahead and show you that because I know some people like to see that. And then I will swatch it on a paper towel so we can see exactly what we're working. So here are the shades all swatched. I actually, ignore that blue spot there. I had to wipe some off my counter. I actually think these all look pretty good. The only one I'm still like a little bit nervous about is this and also this. This is very light, the mint color, which I know mint colors are hard to get right. It does look like a true mint color. I'm just worried about how well it's going to show up in my hair. And this blue is a little bit dark, but I think it's pastel enough. It reminds me a lot of the Arctic Fox Periwinkle color. This and this are very similar to Rose and Girls Night. These are the colors we're using today. Also, I'm aware that I still have quite a lot of purple in my roots. However, the ends of my hair are pretty much white. They're very faded. They're pretty perfect for putting pastel colors over. So if anything, I'm probably going to maybe go over my roots a little bit with the purple in today's look, but also on all the ends of my hair all over, I'm going to do all these colors. I'm going to go ahead and put some gloves on and get started. Also, these have bond builders in them, which kind of blows my mind. Oh, and I washed my hair this morning. I did not use conditioner. That's important to note because that means I have taken everything out of my hair that I can and now I'm about to put pigment in. If I had used conditioner, that could make the color harder to take, but I'm doing everything I can to give this the best shot. It's always worked for me so far. And I'm not using any particular technique. I'm just putting the colors all around just to see how it goes. And also I'm only gonna refresh the roots right here on this top section that I have sectioned out as far as the purple goes. Otherwise I'm just gonna leave it how it is everywhere else. Put the color on the white ends. And we'll just have pastel roots that have nothing to do with this color review. <laughs> Look at the mint. Can't hardly see it, it's so light. Hmm. That's interesting. I do like that smell though.
All right, I finally have everything applied. I did a purple pink ombre right here where I do my part, so that will be a little bit different than the rest of my head. You might notice I did a bit less purple, and that's because I knew I was gonna do a lot of purple on the roots here. So we'll see how that comes out. Let me go ahead and let you see what it looks like all the way around. All right, I'm going to give this somewhere between 30 minutes and an hour to process. I'll be rinsing in ice cold water as close as my faucet gets to give this the best chance. And that always works with every other color I've done. It should prevent bleeding. I'm going to let this process and I will be back with you in a minute. I'm also gonna take a moment to ask if you enjoyed this, please leave a like and subscribe. All right, this is the finished product and it came out really, really beautiful. It feels really healthy. I left it in for about 45 minutes, rinsed it out, again with as cold of water as my faucet gets, and there was pretty much no bleeding that I could visibly see. Let me go ahead and do a full 360 and you can see what we've got working in the back. I now interrupt this video for a hair montage. Everything was black and white, now it's so different Now it seems so right Before I met you, everything was black and white But it's so different Now it seems so bright You bring the color to my life You bring the color You bring the color to my life So yeah, this is how it turned out and I am really pleased with it. So the mint green came out very light as I expected. It is a mint green though. It's really nice. There's just not much of it and it's hard to see, but it's in there. It's in there and it's cute. She cute. First impressions of this brand, Strawberry Leopard. I really like it. I think for the price point, and for what it does, it's really nice. We'll see how long this lasts. I don't expect it to last too long. It is pastel colors. So I'll give you an update on how that goes as time goes on, how long it took to fade this. You can see there's this one part where the blue <laughs> has like a stripe right there, like a very visible line. I obviously didn't blend it well enough there. But what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, please leave a like and subscribe. I will for sure be reviewing more shades from this brand. Super curious to try the darker colors. Maybe they have more neon colors. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace, love, God bless.